Tucked away in a small corner of Argyle is a garden that's uh, not your usual Texas farm. News 8's Bradley Blackburn takes us inside. We've got squash, we've got okra. Ross Diot is at home when he's on the farm. Watermelon, I've grown watermelon before. But what makes his farm so different is that it's surrounded by homes. Merging gardening and farming with suburban living. This is Harvest, a residential community in Argyle with 800 houses and a green heart at the center. A six acre farm and community garden run by a 27 year old millennial farmer. Yeah, Farmer Ross. He grew up in Arlington, had a passion for plants early on. Now it's his job to help residents with their own garden plots. To ask their gardening questions, you know, if they have bug problems, if they have mildew, if they have stunted plant growth. It used to be a development needed some parks, maybe a pool, but this amenity is helping draw in homeowners. We got some peppers over there. Some 75 families rent boxes in the shared garden. I like having a resource to, to be able to ask questions. The developer says this concept is pretty unique and it's fertile ground. Other developers have come here from across the country to look at this as a model. It's a good trade for Ross, too. He gets to use the on site greenhouse for his own farm. And then I sell this to local restaurants in Denton and Dallas, as well as farmers markets. He wants people to see that farming and suburban life can coexist. So this is how uh, a majority of Americans live and maybe even grow together. Caring where your food comes from, or better yet, growing it yourself, is very important. In Argyle, Bradley Blackburn, Channel 8 News.